Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger, and author. And this is the March 2024 collective reading. This is the March 2024 collective reading. So I hope this message finds you well and that you take something from it that resonates and really speaks to you. So we're going to begin. I've already drawn the cards and spoken spirit. And so I have the right cards for this um, video. Okay, so going into the month, the energies that are going to be around us for the March 2024 for the collectives is the energy of the Three of Wands. And so the Three of Wands has to do with um, opening yourself up to new opportunities, like kind of having a more of an expansive feeling about what's possible for your life. So in the opposition is the Fool. Okay, so the Fool is often about new beginnings, beginning a new journey, a new start. The fool can also literally be the fool. And so if it's in the obstacle position or the second position, it's basically saying those energies are lacking. The energies of um, open-mindedness and broad up mindedness are lacking, uh, the energy of a new beginning. So that would make sense, right? So if you have the three of wands, which is new opportunities, we're opening our ourselves up to see what's possible, but then you have, it's crossed by the fool in reverse, which is saying there may be some parts of some of you who don't really feel that you have the energy for new beginnings. You may feel scared. You may feel hesitant. You may say, I want to have new opportunities, but I'm scared to start them. So that may be, I want to have new opportunities. I want to see what's possible, but I'm scared to begin because the fool is about beginnings. Of course, it can also be about foolishness, but in my interpretation, it's about new beginnings, kind of going into a new um, adventure situation with just like a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, just excited to see what happens. But if it's in an obstacle position, it's like that energy is missing. So if you're trying to, if you want, if there's an opportunity for you to feel more connected, feel more like you're open to what's going to occur, but then there's some, there's a part of you that's scared or afraid or that enthusiasm, that open-mindedness is missing, that's going to close you off from the opportunity. So there is an energy of opportunity. There's an, also an energy of maybe feeling some internal blockages about exploration. Then you have the eight of pentacles. Okay, this makes sense. I'm getting to feel, I'm, if this is to me for the collective, is feeling like this may be around work and career and profession. Okay, because then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles, you see right here, this is the card of the princess. This is the person who is trying to be very diligent and work very, very hard to create something new to um, perfect their craft. So interesting. You have a card about opportunities. We, card about, we have a card about feeling blocked about it, taking an opportunity or beginning anew. And then you have a card about apprenticeship hard work like there's some hard work that's being put in here to master certain skills and ability i'm getting a career work vibe from this so this must be made what people are thinking about for march and then we have the king of swords so the king of swords here he is or here they are um this i've kind of you know since the cards don't really have a gender um i mean sometimes with court cards they can but in my readings i always kind of use them in neutral uh, the core cards to me don't always mean a specific person. They can mean the energy a person is carrying, trying to call into their life. Um, and so for the King of Swords, I'm thinking of an energy of precision, uh, energy of precision, an uh, energy of maturity, an energy of to kind of be um, very logical and analytical about the surgeon, about the decisions that you're making. The energy of being very logical and analytical about the decisions you're making looking at things from a mature perspective, not being impulsive, not being impulsive with your thoughts, not being impulsive with your words, not being impulsive with your decisions, having a lot of wisdom and discernment in what you decide to do next. And the last card is another swords card. So interesting. So the last card is the eight of swords. And so outcome to me is saying, there is an opportunity here to really unbind yourself and take yourself to a new situation, but you have to do it. You can't hold yourself back. And the reason that she's holding herself back, again, another swords card, she's holding herself back of, she's holding herself back. Yes, she's bound up, but she can easily come out of the tie. She can easily take come out of the blindfold. 
So for you, I would say you can easily, not easily, but the obstacles that you're having, they're obstacles that are kind of self-induced. It's, it's about your thinking because the king of swords is saying you have to be the master of your thinking. But this is saying that you're not. Not just that you're not, it's like you're sabotaging yourself. Okay. So this is you at the center of the reading. You're working hard. You're being diligent. You're being a good student. You're doing everything you're supposed to. But you need this energy here of the king of the king of swords to kind of free you mentally for you to take that next step. Because the outcome is basically saying, that, you know, if you're not going the direction that you feel like you want to go in or you desire to go in, it's because you're holding yourself back. You're thinking, your mentality, the thoughts that are going through your head, you are binding yourself up and you're putting blindfold over your own eyes. But you have the opportunity here because you have the King of Swords energy in your spread. The King of Swords there is to clarify things, to help you see things clearly and to walk in your own power. Yeah, uh, the power to, you know, use wisdom and discernment and clarity. Yeah. So what I would say overall is that for the month of March for 2024, for some people, they're going to be kind of in a situation. I really am getting this as a strong career vibe. Like there's an opportunity you have wanted to, to have in your career, but you've been holding yourself back. And so, but it's saying here, you've worked very hard, but you're kind of afraid to take that next step and really own whatever it is that you've been working so hard for to step into that energy. Because this energy here is of, yeah, because I kind of switched moved the cards because cards came out, this card, then this card, but then I switched it to see if I would get any di in different interpretations and I don't in that because I'm like, regardless of which, you're holding yourself back, and but there's an opportunity for you to free yourself. Because the fool is saying you're holding yourself back and the eight of swords is saying you're holding yourself back. But you have an opportunity here of the king of swords to free yourself and to step into a new mental clarity and awareness. But the eight of swords at the end of the reading is reminding you that if, there, if you're feeling stymied or stuck in certain ways, it's because of your own thinking. So it's really important for March of 2024, for the collective, that whatever is holding us back in our own thinking, that we move through it. I'm trying to think what my card is for. Let me, I pulled it up in another reading. Because sometimes um, the cards I have for myself will resonate with the group. Because we'll kind of, because people will just get similar things. Okay, my card for March is different. Okay, I, I have um, the Nine of Cups. Okay. So you could be being held back, but if you're being held back, it's by your own thinking. And so basically you're sabotaging yourself and you're blocking your own opportunities. So just think about that. So just think about wh where in your life are you holding yourself back? Where in your life do you have an opportunity? Where in your life do you feel like, oh, I have an opportunity, but I'm afraid, I'm scared, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hesitating in certain ways because I'm getting you're hesitating because of your own thinking. Like you've done a lot of the hard work that's necessary to be wherever you are, but you're holding yourself back because you have some old thoughts, some old ideas, some old programming that told you and that you have kind of aligned with and you've continued to believe that mm, this is not for me. I can't do this. I'm afraid. And it's kind of muddling your thinking and not allowing you to step into what you need to step into. But the King of Swords is saying, this is the energy you want to call in. This is the energy you want to call in for March of 2024. You want to call in the King of Swords energy. And regardless of if, if this reading does not resonate with you at all, that's totally fine. But I will say, regardless of where you are in your life in March of 2024, whoever listens to it, that you should always call in the King of Swords energy because you... Because we all need greater mental clarity, greater awareness, and greater precision in our thinking. All of us do, regardless of where we are in our life. But remember, with precision of thinking, we always want to be civil and we always want to be 
um, compassionate. We never want to be cruel. But for the, but this spread is saying that people need, uh, they need to step into that energy. So it's not even energy that can be out of balance because it's not even in your life yet, if that makes sense. So yeah, so please, you know, call in the King of Swords energy, free yourself from any thinking that's holding you back, that's muddling you. If you feel like you're in bondage, like you have yourself tied up, do everything possible that you can to clarify your thoughts and your thinking so that you can get some balance there. So let me see if there's anything else. So Spirit is just saying, if there's anything going on for you and where, you where you're afraid to take opportunities, really look at the reasons why you're afraid to look, take opportunities. Really explore it. And be do an honest assessment. And this is what's this is why the King of Swords energy can be so important because the King of Swords energy can help you do an honest assessment of what's going on in your mind. Because you don't have any for March 2024, there are no cup cards. There are no cup cards. There are no, this is not about water. This is not about emotion. This is all about thinking. This is all about thinking and opportunity. And not feeling like you could take an opportunity. You know, it's all about that. It's about hard work and opportunity. So um, Spirit is saying, when opportunity presents itself and you feel afraid to take that next step, really sit with yourself, connect with your breath, and ask yourself, what is holding me back? And use that King of Swords energy to be really compassionate, but blunt with yourself about what is holding you back. Even if it's something that you're, you'd be like, oh, that's nonsense. I don't really feel that way. But if it comes up as an answer for you, then you really do feel that way. And a lot of times we're held back by our unconscious beliefs and our, about ourselves. Excuse me. Sometimes we are held back by our unconscious beliefs about ourselves. Try not to have a coughing fit the way I did in another video. So nice. We have to really work with ourselves from an internal space. That's why the fool came up. We have to really work with ourselves and say, what, if, what part of me is afraid of new beginnings? What part of me is afraid of stepping outside of my comfort zone? What part of me is afraid of exploration? Sometimes if we came from homes and environments where trying some things, new things was scary, that could be the energy that you're holding and that could be the energy that's holding you back. Sometimes, you know, we're very used to hard work and we'll keep working, 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 and but we don't see the results or, we just, or we'll just stay at a certain level because we feel like, okay, this is just all I'm meant for. And Spirit is saying, this is not all you're meant for. And if you have a feeling that this is all you're meant for, but you have another part of it, like we could do more, then you need to bring those two pieces of yourself in alignment and understand that you're being held back by some old thinking. You're being held back by some old thinking and programming. And to call on the King of Swords energy to help you clarify your thinking, clarify the parts of yourself that are confused and feel lacking in, certain, in some ways. This is not something you have to do on your own. You can call on your angels. You can call on your spiritual team. Spirit is saying it's really important to journal out your fears. Don't just walk around with your fears just kind of tense and tight inside of you because when it does that, it can muddle your thinking. And it keeps that tight in that constricted energy in your body. So journal out your thoughts. Journal out your fears. Be as honest with yourself as possible. Don't worry about if it makes sense. And if as you're journaling or writing or recording or audio recording or whatever you're doing, don't, if a part of yourself comes in and is like, that's stupid, that's dumb, why would you think that way? Don't let that part of you that's criticizing some other parts of you stop you from being honest and your most authentic truth to yourself. Because we can hold many different parts of ourselves. We can hold a part of ourselves that, oh, I only feel like I can do this. And then we can have another part of ourselves. I'm like, well, that's stupid. I know we can do a lot more. But 
you can both of these parts are a part of you and they're there for a reason but you can only reconcile them when you start being really honest with yourself when you start being really honest with yourself and doing a proper assessment of what's happening in your life and what's happening inside of you in your head being really doing a proper assessment of your thoughts and your thinking because spirit is saying discernment is key clarity is key key clarifying is key you have to clarify and all of us we all can our thoughts can you know be not clear and it seems kind of simplistic but it honestly is very very powerful we have to clarify our thoughts we have to be clear in our mind and our thinking because that helps us be clear in our decision making and our choices and that helps us to move forward with more ease and more clarity Because if you don't have that clarity, you're going to feel stuck. And some, in all, 99% of the time, our mind is our greatest obstacle. Because most of us are here. Most of us work hard, work hard, work hard, but we're at a plateau. And the plateau is our thinking and our belief about ourselves. And Spirit is saying we have to free ourselves from that. We have to free ourselves from what we've been told. We have to free ourselves from past conditioning. We have to free ourselves from old ideas, ancestral ideas, and generational ideas, community ideas, social programming. And for March, for many of you, this will just be the beginning. This will be the beginning of doing that. Because many of us are blocking ourselves from having new beginnings. Because we're afraid and we've been scared. And some of us don't want to try because we don't want to be disappointed. So Spirit is saying things can be different and to open yourself to that difference. I had the title for this video. Let me write it down before I lose my mind. One second, one second, one second. Connecting with yourself in a deeper way in order to take certain opportunities will be very, very key as we all go through this transition we're going through on the planet. We're all being called to stop putting limits on ourselves and stop placing a barrier around potential and what we can do in any area of your life. We're all being called to free ourselves from this thinking. If you're on the if you're on the planet at this time, it is for a special reason and purpose. It may not be a global purpose. It may be a local purpose. It can be as local as your home. And that purpose could totally be just to be yourself and, and embrace your own thinking and ideas and your ability to explore. And there's power in exploration, but we've been talked out of it through fear and other programming that we, we are not entitled to explore, but we are entitled to explore. Those of us who are called to a higher dimension and purpose, we need to become explorers now to step into our full potential. And even if you don't want to do work that's spiritual, wherever you can show up mostly as yourself, wherever you can show up more as yourself, you should embrace the opportunity to do so. And if you hesitate, ask yourself why. If you hesitate to truly embrace who you are, ask yourself why I begin and then begin to gently explore that rabbit hole because don't limit yourself you're not meant to be limited on this earth
So I hope that made sense. Made sense to me. Okay, so we're going to pull an angel card, one card from the angels, asking how we can, how March 20, how the collective can be supported in March 2024. Angels, one card for the collective. Well, first, the angels are saying you have to be balanced and listen from within. Well, thank you, angels. Balanced and listen from within. One card. Can that be an angel card? They're kind of sticking together, so that may mean they want me to put it down. No, I'm put it down. See what the angels have to say. Healing energy. The angels are around you to send you healing energy. This healing energy will work to heal all past thoughts that did not serve you. All past thoughts that said you were limited in any way. This healing energy is around to serve to serve you, so that you can release yourself from that eight of swords energy of mental bondage. A lot of times when we've been held up in this way. It's a wound that we carry. It's a wound that can be ancestral, generational, from other lifetimes, however, whatever the case may be. It can be a combination of everything. It can be multidimensional. But know that the angels are around you and they're surrounding you and they're sending healing energy. But the angels can only connect with you if you call on them. So call on the angels. Ask the angels to heal your mind. Ask the angels to heal your mind of limited thinking and ask the angels to walk with you and to point out every way you want to limit yourself and ask for healing energy to be infused in you. Ask the angels to work with you on your mind and your thinking. Yep, I went right to it. Thank you. Fish. Angels are enveloping you in the healing energy at this time. They are swirling around you, filling your mind your body, and your soul with a soothing and peaceful light. They are guiding you to receive this healing energy and allow your body time to, its, to return to its natural state of goodness. Healing is actually an energy that goes beyond the body. It's the return to a natural and good state. Healing is a return to wholeness, which is our truth and spirit. Wholeness is our natural state in our non-physical form. Healing, thats I just said that, that wasn't in the book. Healing angels are playing, placing their hands upon you in any situations that may be concerning you at this time. Know that the miracles you are asking or you are seeking are unfolding before you, your eyes. You are blessed to receive this card today because the energy it brings will mend any break, breakages, wounds, and emotionally raw situations that are troubling your heart. If anything in your life is broken or disrupted, this card indicates that healing energy is being brought to it. Angels want you to know, <laughs> excuse me, your angels want you to know that any prayers or calls for help and support you have sent out have been received and they are working on the case now. Healing doesn't happen tomorrow. It begins today. So you are guided to visualize the best and most loving outcome possible in all areas of your life. See angels of light placing their hands upon anything that may be of concern, and know that when you do this, you allow healing energy to unfold in the present moment. Thank you, angels. Okay. So remember, call on this healing energy, because this healing energy will help to transform this energy. Okay? So, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, I'm an intuitive messenger, and I'm an author. If you'd like a personal reading, you can see the link in the description. And please let me know what you think of this video, your thoughts, whether it resonated. Any, any feedback is welcome, as long as it's polite and civil. And so please, 
I hope you have a wonderful March of 2024 and a wonderful 2024, 2024 all around. So you please take care. Please make sure to like, share this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.